So point number one, the first reason why I believe Emirates Airlines will face bankruptcy is because the Emirates Airlines business model, uh, if you actually look at it, has been based strictly on speculation. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's look at UAE. Okay. Now, Emirates Airlines is the baby, the brainchild of Sheikh Mohammed. And Sheikh Mohammed was lucky in the initial period of time towards, um, let's say, Dubai. Okay. However, once he started to taste success, he just believed that anything he touched would turn to gold. He believed that he was invincible. Okay. Which I don't blame him. It's any and every businessman just feels he can take the next big risk without failing. Uh, Sheikh Mohammed does have a spectacular resume. He has made Dubai what it is. Uh, his, you know, uh, his greatest achievements are too many to mention. Um, however, he did make very big critical errors, especially during the boom period. So let me give you a couple of examples where he has made a tremendous mistake, especially based on speculation. The first big one is Expo 2020. Okay, when they got Expo 2020, everyone was jumping with joy, shouting, screaming. They were so happy. But let's look at Expo 2020 today. As of now, as per Bloomberg, the total expenditure uh, for Expo 2020 is expected to reach uh, around 66.4 billion dirhams. Okay, that's 18.1 billion US dollars. As of now, they have not got anything back in return. Everything has been only spent. Okay, and it and the expense moved 17% from 56.8 billion dirhams. Okay, this is Bloomberg's report. So they have only spent money on Expo 2020, spent money on ads, spent money on brand ambassadors, spent money on you know, putting it in the news, spent money on creating hype. They have not got a single penny back in return. So this 18.1 billion US dollars is just gone to waste as of now. There's nothing happening. Okay, that's number one. The second uh, point, that UAE is only based on speculation. Palm Island, one, two, three. The world, waterfront. Just imagine the construction for all these properties started at 2003. It is 17 years since that date. Palm Island one, Palm Island two, Palm Island three, the world, waterfront. Waterfront was 750,000 villas in the water. And even further than that, which was going to go one kilometer or um, two kilometers or even five kilometers into the ocean, you had one small island which was like the shape of the sun. Uh, it was, you know, like a cartoonish kind of sun. And that is where they said the VVIP, the greatest, most powerful people will be saying that it's the richest. In fact, people do not know this, but uh, they are already underwater kind of villas. I know people who have been there. Okay, I know people who have been there. Uh, to Sheikh Mohammed's kind of residence. It's an underwater villa which is uh, surrounded with gold plated stuff, diamond encrusted stuff. I know people have been there for maintenance work. Okay. So, yes, all this is great. But Palm Island 1, 2, 3, the world and this waterfront, all the money that was spent dumping sand into the water, what has happened to it? As of now, Nobody knows the exact amount of money, but let's assume, let's assume close to a billion, a billion dirhams has been put to set the infrastructure. Now, what has happened? In fact, if you check Wikipedia, um, there, is all, there are also reports that these islands are sinking because the seawater is busy eroding the sand, the rocks. See, when nature itself did not permit these islands to be there, how can you fight nature? The, and the biggest thing which they never considered was the maintenance, the maintenance of these islands. In fact, I used to ask people this question. If you want to go to the supermarket, how do you go to the supermarket? If you want to go to the doctor, how do you go to the doctor if you are on an island? What, you will call for a helicopter service? You want to go to the grocery shop, you'll call a helicopter. So these were just gimmicks. These were these uh, concept, um, uh, you know, dreams that they had that never, uh, that never, you know, bore fruit. In fact, you, you remember the floating houses, the floating houses, everything was based on speculation, but they were not able to um, deliver on what they promised. The next one, this one is the big one, speculation. Sheikh Maktoum Airport. Sheikh Maktoum Airport was supposed to 
it was billed as the biggest airport that was going to bring or attract 200 million passengers 200 million now dubai airport takes around 88 million as of 2017 dubai airport they took around 88 million passengers they believe that yes dubai is going to grow so big we are going to get 200 million passengers every year from 88 they just went double so sheikh maktoum airport was built to accommodate this and how much did they spend on this 82 billion dollars 82 billion dollars they spent on sheikh maktoum airport it was opened on 20 on 27th june to, uh, 2010 10 years ago what has happened how many planes have gone it was supposed to be the busiest airport in the world it was supposed to be like 200 million passengers there's nothing happening there you don't take my word go to sheikh maktoum uh, airport it takes uh, it takes literally 45 minutes to one hour to drive with no traffic you're talking of dubai speed like really fast it'll take you 45 minutes to reach there it's so far away then after that once you reach there you'll see the whole place empty it's like uh, 100000 uh, people's parking spaces there totally empty you go into the airport it's totally empty the security guy is sleeping the um, you know there is nobody there the amount of uh, expense to maintain this the electricity the water the people it's unbelievable and the place is absolutely empty okay so as of now even that is gone to waste then you have the expansion of dubai airport what happened to it they expanded yes it is being used but now passengers were declining this is before covid then dubai logistic city again they spent billions of dollars on it nothing happened okay they were expecting uh, that the Maktoum airport will get so busy and then logistic city will be so busy they'll get all the cargo in the world nothing is happening what happened to all the other projects of sheikh mohammed dubai district dubai whatever uh, all the projects in fact even these uh, you know all these big news that they give that they're going to have police uh, on segway they're going to have women's police they're going to have robo police they're going to have uh, what uh, flying taxis they're going to have, uh, you know, futuristic city. They're going to have uh, people being trained for space. Only one guy went to space. After that, nothing. So all these big, big talk, this speculation, which they like to put in the news, what happened to it? In fact, they were even talking about a cryptocurrency. What happened to it? See, the problem is all this sounds good when they announce it on the papers, but they don't follow up. In fact, let me ask you, uh, look back on all the big project you remember the twisting project the twisting tower what happened to it you remember the one mile high tower what happened to it they announced all this they took the money for this they they put it in all the papers nothing happened so the emirates airlines the whole business model is based strictly on speculation so that's point number one are you fed up of life Earning a pathetic salary, working long hours, having an ungrateful boss, facing office politics, the constant fear of losing your job, and after paying rent, groceries, shopping, and children's expenses, you were left with hardly any savings. Is this the life you dreamed of? Or do you wish to change your life forever? Meet Loy Macedo, the world's number one personal branding coach. He will help you identify the real you. Position and sell yourself by getting the job of your dreams and make good money anywhere in the world. If you do not believe me, Google his name, Loy Macedo, and you will find 2 million web links online and over 200 recommendations from very happy clients. So the question is, do you want to change your life? If yes, then contact Loy Macedo www.loymacedo.com Who is loymacedo.com? Thinkpersonalbranding.com What are you waiting for? Do it now!